How's it going everyone? It's Liam Carrison here and we're reacting to another episode of Once Upon a Time. It's episode 14 of season 7. So yeah, now we're less than 10 episodes until we entirely conclude uh, this show. So yeah, and things getting very uh, interesting with uh, Alice's side of things, not just in terms of, uh, of course, the flashbacks which we explored in the last episode, but also what's happening in the present, of course, with uh, the Coven, uh, which is being uh, eliminated. And uh, yeah, Tilly is finding herself in a bit of a pickle. So yeah, with her being on the scene of the latest murder, uh, it, it doesn't look good. Obviously, we can kind of put two and two together in regards to, you know, the fact that she didn't do it. So, yeah, but um, for her at this moment, yeah, better days are uh, to be had. So, yeah, with that said, why don't we get into this episode of Once Upon a Time? It's episode 14 of season 7. Let's go. Today's my birthday. Oh. And the day she escapes? A very happy birthday to you! <laughs> this is her wonderland. <laughs> oh sh- Oh my god! Is this the big friendly giant? Before now, someone is dead. I know. I should have listened to you, and I'm sorry, but I believe you now. I didn't kill anyone. Really? No. I we know. We know. Come on. Come on. Me. I just want to help you. Just please get in the bloody car. Yeah, her going to that statue though, like, does add a bit of salt. Uh, like, add a bit of meaning. Like, goes there for that kind of solace. Same thing that rescued her, but of course, Tilly doesn't know that. If I got any closer, he'd die. You're Alice. Nook's kid. Nook? New, new hook. It's a thing that my mom did. <laughs> wow, so you're the girl in the tower. Oh, I wow, already love it so much. So I heard. Kind of new here. Name's Robin. New Robin? So Nobbin. Ah, yeah, Nobbin. <laughs> <laughs> Nobbin. No, Nobbin. No, Nobbin. No, Nobbin. No, Nobbin. No, Nobbin. It's just different. There wow, we go. It's just not Nobbin. cool, okay? Cool? Why would you want to be cool? You know what? Okay, you know, technology, right? So, we want some walkie-talkies okay, to just we need to find texting. out everything we can. It doesn't have the same flair, does it? I just wish I had met you before I became me. Maybe I would have made better choices and Yeah, like not sentence you to death if you and Jacinda get cozy. All of us. Maybe that guilt for putting that that curse on him. So at least we're seeing that from Ivy. That one you keep calling a monster. He's the only reason I'm free. He's my friend. Oh and he never shit! Hurt anyone. Oh uh, no! Oh, 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 oh! You're a crazy girl. How about we put you back where you belong? Hey! Lock her up. Hey! What? And her friend too. No. But for you, I'm willing to cancel no. everything. There you go. Smooth. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. But he's gonna know shit. Ring. <laughs> you could leave her with a gaming console or something. Like you could play chess on your Maybe phone. you can keep me company while we wait. Robert, oh, lots of people come in here. I'm sorry, but I don't know you. Just, just stab in the heart. Ah, I've got to get. I hot wired the sheriff's yellow bug. I stole it. You I did what? Five morning, she hadn't caught me, but for eight glorious minutes, it was just me oh. and that bug and the wide open road. You're in a bug. You could. No, no, no. A bug is a type of car. Here. What's a car? Let me show. Trapped in this tiny little box? I thought I was in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way of... You have a funny of, way of looking at the world, though. Uh, describing the... Oh. Oh, God. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
All I have is his name and his legacy to uphold. Oh, so sad, Just why? though. I can't stay here. How'd you do that? First lesson of escape and thievery? She's Robin. Sleight of hand. Yeah. Not 20 on that. <laughs> no, she's gonna leave her here. His apartment right now doing recon. I have to get her out of there before he gets home. Well. Shit. Shit. Ah, uh, this is why you have your phone with you all the time. On your person, not in the bag. What are you talking about? I was here yesterday. I thought someone might have seen me, but nobody did. I know everyone in the that heights, but nobody knows me. What if... That's heartbreaking. What if I don't exist at all? If you exist oh. She needs to be taken care of. Did you not hear me? I said leave her oh, alone. I love her. I thought I love you wanted her. to join our campaign. Are you a troll lover now too? I would rather be a troll lover than fight beside a bully like you. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! What? No fucking way. Is that... How? That's impossible. Sometimes I believe there's many six impossible things before breakfast. <laughs> They're just like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> they are perplexed, understandably, because it's like, why is it? I've never seen this before. Death card. I gotta show grandma this. Let's not. <laughs> uh, shh. When was that? Ten minutes ago. Oh my god, that you're not a killer. You just met me, detective. You don't know me. No you one knows me. me. Oh. There's that invisible Tilly, comment again. Tilly White. Oh. I think I remembered what being Robin Hood is really about. Protecting those who need it. There we go. Thank you. That, that's Robin in a nutshell. For being on my side. For the first 6,205 days of my life, the fact she kept count. It's his own sweet tower. I hate this place. It's just a reminder of how imprisoned you were. stones and it's stupid turret. I've escaped these walls, but I'm still bloody trapped. The fact she feels so bad I'll for never her. I'll be free of it, blood. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh! Maybe, okay! The troll just like, yeet! What if all those years ago when you wanted to escape the tower, you created the troll? Holy shit. Or at least to be free. Hello, old friend. Ah! Alice. Oh, Put the book down. And I've been so many places since we saw each other last. What a big, beautiful word, isn't it? Free. It is big, beautiful, expansive word. Boop. In crazy Tilly, totally bonkers, absolutely mad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but all the best people are. Oh I my just goodness! I got back and bet everybody there are and statues. <laughs> so what were you telling the troll? She awake? Uh, what's that you reading? Wait, is it Alice in Wonder? Alice in Wonderland. It's my favorite. Because she was reading Robin Hood and... Oh. Oh, hello. Security camera? He saw me. He's always seen me. Yeah. I saw the death card. Who are you after? You know, Regina. You could have just asked. I'm here for the Dark One Dagger. Get no! Ah, no! No, 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 no! It could be a great love in your cards, but only you can choose your part. 
And what choice do I have? Unless... Other than to stop you. It's a family, Take you know. Take a page from your old teacher's book. A family. Fine. But maybe it's about her family, you know, Anna, the Charmings, etc., etc. Guess she had a friend after all. He freed but her if I again. Didn't do it. That means the real killer's still out there somewhere. Whoever yep. tried to frame you. Well, that's what we yep. worry about, isn't it? All that matters is that you're free to go, Tilly. Hey! Goodbye. Tower girl. Oh, wow. Like you really put your past behind you there. Oh. This is so good to see how these two got like, so united. And that, you know, created a relationship. Look her in the eye and lie about who we really are. Yeah. Welcome to the club, sis. She's done this dance before. For Zelina, it's just like new terrain. I've got a spare room, central heating, better lock in the door than this. Let's go, let's yeah. go. I'd like that very much. Doesn't have to be alone. Well, Got to be with well, a papa. On. I really loved that so much. It was really, really great to kind of get the um, stage being set for both Alice and Robin. Um, so I wasn't sure if they were going to, you know, kiss or not have their first moments, but they did have that first moments of uh, unity, I would say, which is still very important. So because obviously we know they're going to get together um, in their future. Um, but this is about setting the stage and um, just creating a good atmosphere between them. And yeah, I mean, I really, really loved them in... Um, was it episode 10, wasn't it? With the uh, curse setting off and all of that. So, yeah, I really, really loved them. Even if it was a brief moment, it was... They're, they're just, like... There was just something that popped uh, uh, between them. From what we know about, obviously, Alice and uh, Robin from that episode. But we got to see a bit more about them uh, in this episode. And it chemistry was just there it was just really really um brilliant stuff and it was you know there, there were just some really really wholesome moments um especially you know just moments of comfort between um robin and alex like especially when it came to the ta when they revisited the tower so you could really see that supportive energy there from Robin, and it was just really, really wholesome. So sad, but wholesome as well at the end of the day because of the fact that she's there. So, yeah. And it was just, yeah, it was just really, really uh, great stuff. I know there were a few people, uh, because I did publish the episode, episode 10 on uh, YouTube. I know there was a few people that did agree about the fact that um, this seems to be a better done um, dynamic than uh, Ruby and, and Dorothy when, you know, they got together. And I feel like this episode really solidifies that because you are building uh, that relationship. You are... Uh, you know, creating certain late and uh, emotions really um, that really do stand out and make you appreciate their connectivity, which this episode certainly did. Um, especially when you see the differences, uh, like I'd say the, um, you know, when you're comparing both uh, Alice and Robin, really, uh, especially with the fact that uh, Alice has been trapped so um for for so so long um she even counted the days and uh with alice um uh well well with robin should i say uh alice was the one in the tower of course counting the days now with with robin or nobbin i love that i'll get onto that in a moment uh, of course she was um um uh, more exposed to the outside world um and um you know there was all of that popularity when there's that invisibility with with alice so yeah but yeah like i said with with nobin i just really really loved that um like the thing is though she gives these nicknames to the people that she loves so much i mean nook 
you know, well, there, there, there is that like nickname for the people that yeah, uh, there's there's Nook and then there is Nobbin, so I love that. Um, but no, I really really loved um, how this episode came about. I really loved, of course, how they handled with the whole troll situation in terms of uh, Alice's uh, abilities being able to, I guess, conjure that um, that troll the same manner that you know she made. Um, Emma's yellow book uh, basically go all Chamber of Secrets, of course. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing that was an allusion to. Otherwise, Emma's gonna be like this would be this would be the second time that's um, that Robin would have been involved in. I guess the theft of of um, Emma's book. So, I just love that little backstory. I'm like, holy sh! How dare you? But um, no, I'm assuming she just conjured that just based on the picture that um, she showed uh, that Robin showed to Alice, and uh, yeah, they uh, like they like the way that Alice was able to conjure up that that giant so um which of course we were going to like from from the get-go we were going to get on how it uh, got converted into a statue i guess so yeah uh which does sound grim but yeah but yeah what i also really really loved about the uh whole situation with the giant was um the giant was able to free alice uh, from prison twice so you could make the joke if i had a nickel for every time that the giant was able to free alice from imprisonment <laughs> but um that's it though uh, there are of course going to be those parallels um with the fact that uh, she was freed from the imprisonment of the tower and then she was free from the imprisonment of the hyperion heights jail so yeah um both occasions, of course, uh, Alice was just caught up in the middle of, wasn't she? Because of the fact that, um, obviously, she was being framed for murder at Hyperion Heights. But, of course, um, uh, yeah, she had no say, really, in terms of being imprisoned at the Tower. So, you got to love those uh, little comparisons. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, I just really, really um, loved um this whole situation uh with with both alice and robin and uh you know not just of course the whole metaphors in regards to feeling trapped and all of that but also um you know you've got um something you've you've you, with with robin's story um you've got that arc of where Alice has that feeling trapped situation. Robin has that legacy to, to adhere to. I mean, uh, you had all of those people that were hunting the troll um, uh, that were just perplexed about the uh, prospect of, um, you know, her being the legacy to Robin Hood. And, uh, you know, she had such confidence in trying to settle um, down, you know, those people. So, yeah, but um, it was just really, really great stuff. It was very heartbreaking as well when no one was able to see her and all of that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was just a very, very sad circumstance. So, yeah, but um, like, like, it, it, there's just that isolating feeling, which is, I think, very, very perfect in regards to describing Alice's situation with the tower. Like, she was isolated from the world. I mean, you saw the beginning pieces where, of course, she had all of her, uh, I guess, imaginary friends there, really, um, providing a sense of comfort. But there you are in the real world. Um, where no one uh, is acknowledging you whatsoever. It's like, oh, you remember, there's a lot of people that come here, and it's just a very, very deflating thing. Um, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was also very, very uh, great to, um, you know, touch upon the whole Regina and Lucy situation. So walkie-talkies are more uh, efficient than, you know, these things. So, especially if you put these on silent or whatever, or D&D &D mode. Um, so, yeah, obviously, the caveat when it comes to having walkie-talkies is that, you know, they are, uh, they would have gotten Lucy out of Dodge quicker, but if she was in a situation where, um, you know, the, uh, opposition was, uh, it, it was in the same area, she would be, you know, kind of screwed. She was screwed either way because of the fact that, um, she left her hat, so, yeah, but, um... Yeah, uh, of course, we know that Facilia is after the dagger, so that's great. Um, 
But I do wonder, I do want, because obviously Rumpel seemed adamant on the fact that Anastasia was, was, was the Guardian, but I don't think it's going to be, it, I don't think, I think they are, um, uh, it, it's still an unresolved matter. So, yeah, it was, um, yeah, it, it's still very, very uh, interesting uh, to see what's going on with Facilia, uh, of course, very, very shady, but, um, it does make me like if he's after uh, Rumple essentially, yeah. Um, I do worry about where Rumple, like especially when you think about Bell and how he wants, how there is going to be that uh, reunited aspect. I do feel like this might. I mean, considering that season seven is going to be the end of it, I do feel like this might be the be all end all for Rumple, uh, especially if he desires to get back with Bell. So. Yeah, but um, we shall just have to wait and see what will happen. But uh, yeah, I really, really uh, enjoyed uh, going through this episode. Like I said, very, very wholesome stuff with Alice and Robin. Really loved their uh, connectivity so, so much. Um, so yeah, but there was just some very, um, um, you know, beautiful moments, um, both in a, you know, heartfelt sense and both in a, a emo like a very emotional, like when you feel so bad for Alice um so yeah it was just really really uh great stuff to see um yeah it was also really really uh, it was just great stuff to see things just play out in this episode so yeah uh but I will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and I will see you guys next time toodles <laughs>